how often have you asked yourself this question, are you really happy and not had a very clear answer? Or have you asked yourself, what makes me happy? Today, I want to give you all a neuroscientific framework that will change the way that you think about happiness. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about the brain and everything that makes you healthy. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do so, you'll see a lot more of such videos on your timeline. Let's talk about happiness and let's look at happiness in three different levels. Level one is physical happiness. These are the things that your body needs and if you give your body these things, your body will be happy. Unfortunately, this physical happiness is not something that we usually experience. We usually only feel it in its absence, when it's not there, when something goes wrong. So what are these things that makes your body happy? Number one is energy or nutrition, which you get from your food. Number two is movement, because your body is wired to move. And number three is rest or sleep. If these three things are in place, your body is happy. And if anything goes wrong in these three things, your body will show signs of unhappiness. And if that is the case, if your body is unhappy, it's not possible to find the higher levels of happiness, at least not for very long. But if you are one of those lucky people whose body is happy, then what next? What are the other levels of happiness? Level two is limbic happiness. The limbic system is the old primitive part of your brain and it has the dopamine network. The dopamine network is wired to make you chase after things that give you pleasure. This is also called as the hedonic system. And this is the system that makes you chase after tasty food or the pleasure of sex or even the joy that you get from binge watching a show or shopping online. This is the level of happiness that most of us operate on most of the time. This is also the level at which addictions can happen. The happiness that you get from this limbic dopamine circuit is transient. It's short-lived and so it forces us to keep chasing after new sources of happiness. There is a term that neuroscientists use for this kind of life. It is called being on the hedonic treadmill. Imagine running on a treadmill chasing that pleasure but never actually reaching anywhere. That is what limbic happiness is all about. And finally, we come to level 3 happiness which is your prefrontal cortex happiness or PFC happiness. This is the happiness that comes from consistency and discipline. This is the happiness or satisfaction that emerges from seeing your hard work pay off in the long run. It comes from doing your duty, from being able to resist temptation and knowing that you have done what you have set out to do. This is the happiness that the Bhagavad Gita talks about when Krishna tells Arjun to do his dharma, to do what he is meant to do and not get distracted by sensory pleasure or sensory fears. From a neuroscience perspective, this happiness involves not just dopamine spikes, but also the long-lasting satisfaction that comes from serotonin, from endorphins and also from oxytocin because of the community bonding that can come from long-term projects. This is the happiness that is also described as satisfaction, peace of mind or having a sense of calmness. So from now on, if you ask yourself the question, are you happy? Remember this video and ask yourself a deeper level question, at what level of happiness are you in? Are you happy at all the three levels, which is physical, limbic and PFC? And if the answer to any of these questions is no, then you know what to focus on. Because too often, people try to fix unhappiness by chasing after limbic pleasures and you know how short-lasting that can be. It is not wrong to seek happiness from food or sex or even Netflix, but if that is all that we are chasing in life, eventually the happiness from the other two levels will fall short and ultimately, what you end up with is being unhappy. I hope this video gives clarity. I hope it gives you a framework to think about happiness and I hope that it helps you in your journey. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to see more such videos based on neuroscience and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone, take care.